Hello traders, FS Specoletta here. Today is Saturday, October 19th. And my question is to everybody this weekend is, can the financial markets, can the charts predict who is going to be the next presidential election several weeks before the election results even come out? So today is the 19th of September. The election is on November 6th. So we have two weeks and three days. So roughly about 17 days until the presidential election when we will find out whether Trump or President Harris will be the new president. So anyways, going down to uh, this national polls that I found, so Harris is currently ahead by 1.4 points. So the polls are saying that she is more likely, at least at this time, to win. Who knows if that's really accurate or not. That's not really important for me because what I want to know is if these financial charts, if the patterns that we see on the charts can predict who will be the next president of the United States states and my answer is yes they can predict who will be the next president of the United States so let's look at start off by looking at the S&P 500 and zoom in a little bit to me the S&P 500 seems like it's making an extremely cl extremely clear pattern so first of all we see a one two three we are approaching the 161 percent Fibonacci extension of wave one projected off the bottom of wave two the most likely target for a wave three is normally the 161.8 Fibonacci extension what comes after wave three is normally a pretty good sized pullback for wave four and then eventually a wave five this is the monthly time frame so all that's going to take a very long time to play out going down to the weekly time frame we have a wave one we have a wave two and this looks like all a wave three like i said we are coming into the 161.8 which is normally my target for a wave three so if this goes up here hits that 161.8 the most likely thing to happen next is a big pullback for an abc of wave four and most ABCs of wave 4 will take out structure of the wave 3, so I would expect it to at least go back down to here. So let's take it right down to the daily time frame for a minute and zoom out a little bit because this is pretty important. So we have a very nice wave 1 ending right here. We have a very nice corrective wave 2, and then we have a nice uptrend for wave 3. I think this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave 3. This red line right here represents when the election is. So for me, it seems extremely clear that this is going to go up, hit the 161.8 Fibonacci extension of wave 1, projected out the bottom of wave 2, which is normally your target for wave 3. Then I would expect to see a big pullback for an ABC of 4, probably going down to the 38 or the 50% Fibonacci retracement for an ABC of 4. Now, according to what I know, um, is that if... Trump becomes elected, he is going to be lowering taxes for corporations, especially if they produce their products in the America. So lower corporate tax would be very, very, very positive for the S&P 500 and for the stock market, because that would be very, very positive for the companies that make up these indices. So if this was a Trump win that we have coming up next, then in my opinion, the charts would not be looking like this. In my opinion, the charts look like they are ready for a pullback, which will probably last anywhere from six to eight months for potentially a wave four. So in my opinion, the S&P 500 looks like it's getting ready to make a bearish run for potentially six to eight months for the wave four before it goes up and makes a wave five, which in my opinion also leads me to believe that that would be a win for President Harris or the potentially would be President Harris because a Trump win would potentially have this thing just continuing the uptrend and this does not look like it's in the state to continue the uptrend. So let's look at some other stuff. Let's look at the US 30, which is the uh, US Wall Street 30 and let's do uh, the weekly time frame again because the weekly time frame seems extremely clear to be wave one, wave two, and then one, two, three, four, five of three. Now what comes out to a wave three? Usually a big pullback for wave four, which comes back into the structure of the wave three, and then back up for wave five. Pretty much just like the uh, S&P 500. Going down to the daily time frame, this line rep represents uh, the election. So for me, it would make a lot of sense for this to go up, hit that line, and then start a big pullback for an ABC of four, which would potentially go all the way back down to this area 
for some sort of an A, a B, and a C of wave 4 before it does rally back up. And in my opinion, that does make me think that Harris will win the election because that is very negative for the stock market. Ending a wave 3 and making a wave 4, which would potentially last 6, 8 months or more, is very negative for the stock market, which in my opinion is not leading me to believe that we would have a Republican win. And the last thing is NASDAQ. If we look at the NASDAQ, it's definitely a different pattern than the other two. But in my opinion, it's also a very, very, very clear Elliott Wave pattern. So we have a nice five waves of one. We have a nice pullback for the wave two. We have a nice five waves of three. Pullback for the wave four. Nice five waves of five. It looks like we already have a five wave pattern right here. I think the wave five is already over. I think this first move down is an A or possibly a one, probably an A. I think this is three waves up for likely a wave B. And I think this needs to go down for wave C, which would likely take out the low of wave 4. Pretty much the same type of thing that we're seeing on the other ones. It's just this one's a little bit uh, kind of leading the other ones, in my opinion. So if we go down to here, first of all, if we took this little trend line I have here, this represents how big the wave A is. So if we take that trend line, zoom in a little bit, and project it off where the wave B would end, that puts us down below the structure of the wave four, which is exactly where I would expect an A, B, C pullback for potentially a wave four or potentially a bigger pattern to end. So NASDAQ is also leading me to believe that we are due for a very, very bearish pattern. This is definitely on the daily time frame a downtrend wave A. This is definitely an uptrend A of B, three waves down B of B. This is an uptrend for a C of B. I believe what's going to happen is that this is going to go down and make a pretty big move to the downside for a C. So this would be an A, this would be a B, and this would be a C. And in my opinion, that definitely does make me think that the Democrats would win because I do believe that the Republicans would be positive for the stock market because of the rate cuts that they plan on doing, especially for corporations that produce their products in America. So in my opinion, the S&P 500, the US 30, and the NASDAQ are all in the state, not because of what I think about who's going to win, because I don't really care who wins. I am an American, but I do not live in America. I live in Europe right now. I've lived in, lived in Europe for over two years now, but I am an American and I still vote. But for me, this has nothing to do with who I want to win. This has to do with who I think the charts are telling us is going to win the presidential election. Now, there's a few other things we can look at, too. If we go down and look at the U.S. 10-year, go back up to the weekly, this seems like an extremely clear pattern also. We have a nice five waves of A. We have three waves up for B. We have five waves of C. We got a 78% Fibonacci bounce. I think we already had the end of a Kretzen because the market has already played in a Democrat win, which is a Harris win, and I think that we are going to make five waves up, which will potentially make a new high. This also leads me to believe that the U.S. dollar index would go up because these are very, very correlated. The U.S. 10 and the U.S. dollar index is very, very correlated. So let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index. Now, I am primarily a Forex trader. So for me, the U.S. dollar index is by far the most important analysis I do to try to figure out what all the Forex pairs are going to do. So let's start off by getting rid of this Fibonacci extension. Let's put a Fibonacci retracement on the potential wave A right here. Now this is a special Fibonacci that I use for flat patterns because I do believe this is an extremely clear Elliott wave pattern that we're looking at right here. We have a beautiful five waves down right here for A. We have one up, three down, one up for an A, B, C of B. We have one down, three up, th five down for a beautiful A, B, C Oh, I'm sorry, I did mess that up. So three waves up for A, five down, three up, five down. So three up for A, three down for B. What does that mean? Well, with the fact that we have our Fibonacci retracement on the potential three waves of A, and the fact that the three waves of B turned right at the 90% Fibonacci retracement of the three waves of A, that is a very, very, very big clue because a regular flat normally turns at either the 100 or the 105% of wave A, and then it normally starts to go up and makes five waves for the wave C. 
So the fact that this turned perfectly at the 90% and made a nice engulfing move to the upside, a nice break of structure, tells me that this is almost definitely a regular flat and that this is very, very likely to go up and make a wave C. Now, because this is a regular flat, I can also forecast where I think the wave C is going to go. So if you take your Fibonacci extension and you measure the three waves of A and you project it out the bottom of the three waves of B, the most likely target for a regular flat is the 100 or the 105 percent Fibonacci extension of the A projected off the wave B. Now this seems like an extremely clear pattern to me. So this makes me think that we're going to trend up on the US dollar index for potentially the next six, eight months, maybe even a year to make a wave C of a regular flat. So this would be an A, this would be an A, B, C of B, regular flat way B, and then eventually it probably would turn down and make a C, but this is like, a, you know, potentially a year or two away. So this seems like an extremely, extremely clear Elliott Way pattern. Uh, my old mentor that trained me used to say that if you can predict if you can accurately label the past with Elliott Wave, you can accurately predict the future with Elliott Wave. And because this seems like such a clear pattern and it seems so bullish for the US dollar index, I think that the dollar index is going to spend the next three, six, eight months, probably more like six to eight months in an uptrend. And normally when the US dollar index is trending up, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the US 30 are trending down. So the correlation works really, really, really well in my opinion. And normally when the US dollar index is going up, the 10-year uh, yields is also going up because money flows to the dollar when the dollar is going up. Now this is kind of a bonus that I wanted to add for everybody, but if you understand risk off, risk on, which if the dollar is going up, that is considered risk off, meaning that money is flowing into the dollar because they're searching for higher yields. If the dollar is going down, that is considered risk on because money is flowing away from the dollar looking for safer places to store their money. Normally, the uh, yen, the Swiss, the Aussie, and the Kiwi is a safe haven, but also cryptocurrency and gold has become a very big safe haven. So if the U.S. dollar is going to spend the next, you know, three, six, eight months in an uptrend, then very, very, very likely the yen, the Swiss, the Aussie, and the Kiwi will continue to be very weak for the next three, six, eight months. So risk on, risk off is a very, very important concept because a strong dollar is going to mean that the euro, the pound, the Aussie, and the Kiwi will likely continue down. Probably the dollar CAD will continue up. Also, it means that it's risk off, which means that the Swiss will likely become weaker. So pairs like potentially the Euro Swiss might continue up, potentially the Pound Swiss, the Aussie Swiss, maybe the Kiwi Swiss and the CAD Swiss would continue up. Also means that pairs like that have to do with the Aussie would be continue to be weak and maybe the, continue, the Kiwi would also continue to be weak and pairs with the yen in it because if the dollar goes up then potentially the yen would go down. That means that pairs like the Euro Yen, Pound Yen, Aussie Yen, Kiwi Yen, CAD Yen, Swiss Yen potentially would go down because I mean I'm sorry would go up because a weaker yen would make for a uptrend most likely on these pairs so if you understand the concept of risk on risk off and you analyze the dollar then you can get a really good idea of pretty much where the whole forex market is going to stand over the next several months so not only can this uh, analyzing these charts potentially tell us who's going to be president, but they can also predict and give us direction for a lot of these forex pairs over the next six to eight months or more. So in my opinion, just because of what I see on the S&P 500, NASDAQ, US 30, US 10, and the US dollar index, I do think that the charts are telling us that Harris will be the new, the new president of the United States, which in a way I think is pretty cool. I think it's kind of a big step for America because it will be the first female president, which I think is kind of a big deal for America. So I think it's a kind of a good thing in a way, even though I am kind of a capitalist, I am kind of a Republican. I do think that, a, you know, it's a big step for America to potentially have the first female president. So 
you know, like I said, I am an American, but I don't live in America. I currently live in Europe. But, you know, I definitely, definitely pay attention to what goes on in America. So I just wanted to make this video because in my members' uh, live streams, we've been talking about this for the past week, that potentially the charts are telling us that we, our next president is very, very likely to be a Democrat, which means that Harris will likely be the new president of the United States, in my opinion. Now, if you are interested in joining my membership, check out my website, fxpimplelector.com. I do share all my swing trade setups with the group at the time of entries. I also, every single weekday for the New York Open, I do an hour and a half to two hour live stream on Zoom. And I, I also have like a trading course and a whole bunch of educational information that will become available to you, me, to you once you sign up to my website. So if you are interested in joining my membership, my website is fxpepcollector.com. It's only $30 a month. Definitely check it out if you're interested. And yeah, I just wanted to, I usually don't do videos like this. I usually just do analysis videos, but I thought this was kind of a cool concept. And like I said, my old mentor used to say that the charts can predict what's going to happen in the, you know, economically in a country. And I do believe that. And the charts, in my opinion, are telling us that Harris is going to win. So in about two and a half weeks, we're going to find out whether the charts are telling us the correct story or not. In my opinion, they seem very, very, very clear, which I think tells us that we need to be very, very clear that we probably are going to be getting the first female president of the United States, which, in my opinion, is a pretty cool thing. So anyways, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the week and definitely get out there and vote. And as always, thank you and happy trading.